with all that depth, it kind of makes it easy to you know shuffle some guys around and and uh, see where they fit best. What's Braden? Oh, go ahead. What's Braden Johnson brought back? We're having him back this year. Speed, kick and run. He's a great kid. Leadership. Um, those two things, right? You know, right off the top of my head, um, he can really go, and that's kind of what he's known for. Uh, but at the same time, you know, he's he's ready to go for this next season. You know, since he missed this past year, um, he's much more focused. You know, mature. Reminds me of when you know I had Marcel going into his senior year and lost him for the year, and I thought, oh man, you know, what's going to happen when he comes back? You know because you can go one of two ways off of an injury. And uh, you can either woe is me and come back and you're not ready to go, and you have to kind of trick yourself into playing again, or you come back just chomping at the bit, you're mature and and, uh, and you miss the sport. And he's missed it, and you can tell. And he comes back and he's anxious to get out there and play every day in practice. I remember being in that locker room with you and Mike after the West Virginia game, and you guys kind of grinned at each other and said, there, they're not there yet. They're young, but boy, when those young receivers grow up, are they on pace where you want them to be this spring? Yeah, we're just trying to raise the bar with them now. You know, I mean, across the board, I think we're in very good shape. You know, we've got a couple three deep. You know, of wideouts right now. Um, I'm not saying that there's a bell cow. That's that's for sure. It's not like you know you're running out there with Blackman, who's, who's won the Blitnikoff for Tylen, who's a finalist, and you know you guys know the drill, but. But um, we've got a lot of capable guys, and, and I think it makes us more well-rounded probably than we've been in the past, certainly deeper. I know reserves are coming, the cavalry's coming at the offensive line, but you feel like you've worked around the situation there as best you can to I accomplish? Think so. You would like to think that as coaches, that we're just trying to do the best that we can for um, the big picture. Meaning all positions, you know, offensive line, defensive line, obviously the trenches, but also to make sure that our quarterback feels it too. You just can't go out there and go seven on seven all the time, you know. So we've had some nicks and bumps and bruises and all that kind of stuff, and we're a little bit light there. But at the end of the day, I think we've given most of our team the best chance that they have to uh, to get out there and play with, you know, eleven on eleven football. Sorry, you got asked about this before, but how has Talon kind of worked into things? Um. He's still a freshman. There's no question about that. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to be a great player. Um, but, you know, right now he's still just kind of swimming. I mean, the guys, I think next week's prom, you know. So I got to keep that in mind as I'm chewing on his ass um, because I'm chewing a lot, you know. But, uh, but he's a great kid and he wants to be good. And that's 95% of it. It's just how much you care about being a great player and he cares. So. Uh, it's just a matter of time with him. He's got all the gifts. What was the process like from your point of view in getting him here? He's obviously committed to Oklahoma and then the big flip happened. What was that process like through your, your lens? Um, you know, it was one of those things where I just feel like he was a young guy and that happens sometimes. You know, you get a little bit starry-eyed on, on going somewhere right away and, and um, maybe it's not necessarily the best fit. Uh, I think we offered a lot of things here that um, fit. You know, Talon and Tabry. Um, you know, small town atmosphere. Both those guys are kind of small town type of guys, and, and uh, they're excellent Cowboys for us. So um, I just think that they wanted a little bit more of that slower pace, a little bit more of that um, camaraderie with with, the, with their teammates, and I think that's what we have to deliver here. You know, and of course we're going to throw it, and OU is going to throw it. So what did it come down to? I think that you know they just wanted to be around maybe their teammates more in, in a smaller college environment like this. How did you find out that he was he was coming here? What was that moment like? Oh, he called me. Yeah, he called me and said, hey, you know, going to be a cowboy. and want to make that change. And, and uh, I was fired up, as you can imagine. Um, you know, have both those kids who are great kids, great students, great family. And it's, it's a hell of a deal for us, you know. Um, and I just got to temper my enthusiasm right now when I'm chewing on him. You know, I just can't. I got to slow that down a little bit. I just keep telling myself he's Got prom next week. So you mentioned your depth earlier. How is a guy like Winston Anderson doing? He's obviously worked through a lot of injuries in his first two years. He's doing fine. You know, he's kind of nicked up right now, as a matter of fact. So, you know, it's it's kind of been hit and miss with him in his career, and has kind of hit and miss with him so far this spring. Um, he is ultra talented. He can play. He can run. He can catch. You know, all those things. So I just hope there's a moment where it all comes together for him, and he and he can kind of shake that injury bug a little bit. Last thing for me, what, what, what kind of step has Jaden Bray taken in between year one and coming up in two? 
Jaden's been great. He's been really good, and he's another one that wants to be a great player. So um, it's easy to work with him. He's a big, strong, powerful guy. Very, very raw, blank canvas. You know, um, he could be a special one if he stays on the same track.